Uh, crypto wallets are software programs or physical devices, but store the private and public keys necessary to interact with various blockchain networks. These wallets enable users to securely send, receive, and manage cryptocurrencies. Uh, crypto wallets come in two fundamental types, custodial and non-custodial wallets. Custodial wallets are a type of cryptocurrency wallet where a uh, third party, typically a centralized cryptocurrency exchange or service provider, uh, it does hold the service provider, uh, but it being whatever it is, actually manages all of these users' private keys on their behalf. Uh, and uh, centralized cryptocurrency exchanges have long served as the go-to solution for users seeking to transfer their funds between cryptocurrencies and fiat currencies. The uh, process of moving money from fiat currency, the cryptocurrency is called on-ramping, and the reverse process is called off-ramping. Although centralized exchanges have traditionally been the primary method for this process, solutions such as MoonPay, Transac, and Revolut Ramp have emerged to facilitate the transfer of cryptocurrencies to and from non-custodial wallets. And despite progress over the years, the Global Crypto On-Ramp Report from Crypto Moon Research highlights that over 50% of crypto payments fail, while the abandonment rate during the purchase flow can reach up to 90%. The cryptocurrency being unramped also determines the success rate of the process according to the report. As the chart below shows from a user perspective, Buying Bitcoin and Tether using fiat can be more successful than buying Ether. These on- and off-ramp solutions plug into wallet applications like MetaMask and Phantom. As users interact with their wallets through these apps, on-ramp and off-ramp solutions can seamlessly transact between fiat and cryptocurrencies without relying on centralized exchanges. While these tools help buy and sell cryptocurrencies using fiat, this article primarily focuses on selling cryptocurrencies, converting them to fiat, and depositing them into a Visa debit card from a MetaMask wallet. Here are steps to withdraw cryptocurrencies to a user's Visa card from a MetaMask wallet. These steps assume that the user already has an ERC-20 wallet with some ETH of in it, and that the wallet is accessible via the MetaMask app. I mean, they're seeing the challenges that really kills them again. There are so many times that I get so many people uh, knowing that step two, the user connects their wallet. And step three, the user clicks sell from the options on the top left. And then step four, the user chooses faster payments at the bottom. And the primit calls is good. Step five, the user chooses the debit or credit card option. I suffer and a down the blue, um, keep them happy, um, and uh, I want to come up with the actor, um, but he's still resealed her, and I want to make sure that uh, that that wouldn't. In the above image, the term transact fee describes the cost of the services provided by Transact, the platform that makes fiat to crypto exchanges easier. Conversely, the term MetaMask PD refers to the gas cost of utilizing the MetaMask wallet for Ethereum transactions, which is used to pay miners for completing transactions on the Ethereum network. The term of processing fee may refer to any additional costs the platform or service provider imposes for handling transactions. The outlined steps are derived from a user experience with the MetaMask Transact integration. As both the user experience and integration are subject to change and evolution, the experience vary uh, slightly from the interaction described above. Also, users will be expected to undergo an onboarding process that includes identity verification before using an off-ramp solution like Transac. Uh, providers such as MoonPay, Revolut, Ramp, and Transac have similar onboarding processes, uh, different commissions, and different service levels for users to get the money. Therefore, users should ensure uh, they comprehend the differences and service levels before initiating the transaction. Um, transferring funds from MetaMask to a debit card can be a convenient way to access and utilize cryptocurrencies, uh, but it also presents several potential challenges that users should be uh, completely aware of.
So the process's inherent complexity presents a big obstacle. Although MetaMask provides an intuitive interface for Ethereum and ERC-20 token management, there is an extra level of complexity involved when integrating with a, a payment processor or debit carding provider. Users could encounter compatibility or uh, technical problems uh, with MetaMask and the debit card provider's uh, platform. Um, the price volatility of cryptocurrencies is another problem. Prices on cryptocurrency marketplaces are infamously volatile, changing quickly and without warning. Users are exposed to the risk of price fluctuations from the initiation of the transaction until the conversion of funds into fiat currency, which are then deposited into their debit card accounts. Then they experience unanticipated profits, or sick need a half, including abrupt fluctuations in cryptocurrency prices. Now, uh, the possibility of not getting funds within the allotted time frame is another risk of transferring funds from MetaMask to a debit card. Some debit card issuers promote quickly or instantaneous fund transfers, ensuring the money would be available in as little as 30 minutes. In reality, though, the ways may be caused by several factors, such as process and errors, network congestion, or problems with the payment processing system. If the funds do not arrive in the anticipated time, users who depend on rapid access to funds may become frustrated or experience inconvenience. In addition, consumers could feel quite anxious as they wait for the money to arrive, mainly if there isn't clear communication or status updates. And therefore, to reduce this risk, users should carefully read the terms and conditions offered by the debit card provider regarding the timeliness of fund transfers and potential delays. Select trustworthy debit card companies with a history of reliable and effective money transfers is crucial. But additionally, concerns about privacy and security are factors to consider. Users are giving third-party service providers access to their cryptocurrency holdings and personal data when they move money from a MetaMask to a debit card. Selecting reliable and trustworthy providers with robust security protocols is crucial to safeguarding consumer assets and confidential information.